नमस्ते सो टुडे वील टॉक अबाउट टू टॉपिक्स एंटेंगलमेंट एंड एनलाइटनमेंट सी एंटेंगलमेंट इज ए फेनोम इन क्वांटम साइंस एंड इन द सेम वे एनलाइटनमेंट इज ए फेनोम इन स्पिरिचुअलिटी but both these are phenomenons in a sense that they are sort of a happening so let us understand what is entanglement entanglement is in quantum science so in entanglement two particles are linked and separated in such a way that they communicate with each other instantaneously irrespective of the distance between them for instance you can separate two photons or two electrons or two protons one can be at one end of the cosmos and the other can be at the other end of the cosmos and if these two are let us say entangled they communicate with each other instantaneously in spite of irrespective of the distance between them and you and and you and, and by by measuring a quantum state of one particle the quantum state of the other particle is affected and by virtue of this they communicate instantaneously breaking down the speed limit the communication limit that we have what is the speed limit or uh, uh, according to the theory of relativity nothing can travel faster than the velocity of light but in quantum entanglement what is happening is that these two particles are communicating even faster than the speed of light so they are communicating instantaneously this aspect in quantum science in quantum science this phenomenon in quantum science is called quantum entanglement so these two particles are in entanglement and if we look into the existence everything is in entanglement the particles within me the smallest components within me are in sync with the with the whole existence so everything in the existence is in entanglement well this is subject to uh, verification in science so this is entanglement so this is that phenomenon that these two particles are in entanglement and are communicating with each other at a speed faster than the speed of light and the distance between them is of uh, no consequence they can be separated to any distance now vis a vis what is uh, what is enlightenment but if we see entanglement it appears that it is forced upon right it is not out of free will and it is within Uh, our hands or it is forced by existence unconsciously so my whole being unconsciously is in unison with the whole so in spirituality in advaita we are talking about two components one the atman at my level my individual being and the brahman at the cosmic level the cosmic being right so the individual being is in communication is in communion is in unison is in sync with brahman but unconsciously we are not aware of that union right this is one state this is uh, this is one side of the reality but when it comes to let us say enlightenment it is not a forced upon thing it is out of our free will so it is in our consciousness it is in our experience it is in our understanding and what is that phenomenon 
that I come to know that my Atman has become one with the Brahman. It is not that it has become one with the Brahman, it was already in unison, it was already in union with the Brahman, but it was not in my awareness, it was not within my understanding, it was not within my experience. But, uh, but by virtue of enlightenment, it has become part of my witnessing, it has become part of my awareness and hence it is out of free will. Because you are traveling that is this that journey consciously. So it is coming within the ambit of our consciousness. It is coming within the ambit of our awareness. And hence the journey is conscious. So this union is understood consciously. Whereas that union, if you see it from the side of the existence, everything is in union everything is in sync everything is in communication with the other or the whole is in in union the whole is communicating if they if the whole can be divided into let us say the smallest components possible then all this communication all these components are in communication with each other but that aspect we are not aware of it and it appears that all that that is happening behind the curtain is happening unconsciously but when it comes to let us say enlightenment then it is happening uh, in our awareness so i am calling that as i am calling that happening out of a consciousness it is out of our efforts. It is out of our free will. So there is this difference. So it, so it appears entanglement is sort of a slavery. It is sort of a forced upon a forced upon relationship. Whereas enlightenment, it is not forced upon by anything. The existence is not forcing us that phenomenon on us. It, it is we who are accessing that phenomenon through a method, through a means, through a process called the process of awareness or the process of observation or the process of meditation. This union comes in as part of our awareness and hence it is part of our free will so this is the difference that i wanted to bring what is the difference between entanglement and enlightenment how are they different and how they can be uh, differentiated or how these two concepts can be understood both of their both of them both these are not concepts, they are real things and they are sort of a phenomenon, possible uh, entanglement can be uh, experimental, it is experimental, it has been uh, experimented and enlightenment is an experiential thing, not an experimental thing. So many yogis, many enlightened beings, many mystics, all the sages of the Upanishads are talking about the same thing. It is an experiential thing. It is an inner thing. And the method to have that experience is through awareness. There is no other method. There is no other way. So this is the difference between entanglement and enlightenment so this is it that i wanted to share today through a small video uh, the difference between entanglement and enlightenment that is it thank you so much for listening we'll again continue on some other topic thank you thank you so much